Dear viewers, in this video about Google Sheets tutorial, we will understand how the query function works. So using query function, how can we copy and paste? Literally what we are going to do is we are going to copy and paste a data from a master database to some other place within the Google Sheet. That's what we are going to achieve by using query function. So for example, here is a master database that I have. Column A have name, column B have gender, column C have age, and column D have city in which they live. So this is the master database. This master database can get added. Some of the data from this database can get removed. So this is the master database. Now I need this master database to be copy pasted or the information in this master database need to be, re, uh, need to be placed in some other place in the same Google Sheet. So if I copy paste it, every time I need to copy paste it, instead I need to create a function or a formula by which whenever there is a change in this database that should automatically reflect in the other location where the same information is being uh, requested for or the same information is being presented. So the function that we're going to use is query. So I'm going to use the Google Sheet function is equal to query. And once I select query, now I can select my database so here database is nothing but all the columns from which i need my data so i select this and then i can close my bracket and then i can hit enter so you will get all this information so when i get all this information what we can do is maybe i'm going to add one more name yarini female 12 years lives in chennai so all this information that I enter here will get added. And for example, I'm going to remove an information here. Let's say I'm going to delete this information. That information will disappear. And if I paste it again, that information will come. So this formula is a dynamic way of copying information from a master database to some other place within the same sheet. Now, the second part of the video is going to talk about should I always copy all the headers or I can choose from the database a specific set of headers, column headers, which I need to copy. So for example, in this case, let's assume age is a sensitive information and I don't want age to be copied. Even though the data is available in the master database, I don't want age to be copied from the master database to the new location. I just only need the name, gender and the city in which they live. So then what we can do is we can use the same function query. We can select the master database. And once we select the master database, now we can add a specific request to this formula. So I say select. Then I say column header A, that is column A. Then I put a comma. I can say I need B. I put a comma. I don't need C because C is the sensitive information in this database, which is age. And I'm okay with having the city in which they live. I can have the column D. Now, once I enter this information, I need to close it with a double quotes. And after I close it with a double quotes, I can put a comma. And now after this comma, what I'm going to enter is either I can enter a zero or I can enter a one. And what does zero and one represents? When I close this query function, when I put one, it says each of this column have a column header. So what you have in row number one, name, gender, age, city is a column header. So don't consider that as part of the data. It's a column header. If I don't put a one and if I put a zero right from row one, it will consider it as a uh, data, it will not consider it as a column header. So in this case, I'm going to enter one because I have column header here, and then I'm going to close my formula. Now, if I hit enter, I will get name, gender, age is not getting copied because I have not requested for age, and then the city will get copied. Okay. Now, the third and the last part of this video is going to say, can I also use a filter? I need a column. But I don't need all the rows in the column. I need only specific rows in the column. For example, I want name, I want gender, and I want city. 
but in gender i don't want all the information to be copied i want to apply a filter and copy only male or female let's assume so then how do we use that let's see we are going to use the same formula that i'm going to say is equal to query this is going to be my master database so i'm selecting my master database like before i'm going to use a select function after after using the select function i'm going to say i need column a sorry i need column a comma so let's edit this i need column a i need column b but in column b i'm going to apply a filter function so the filter function works like this i'm going to say column b where column b is equal to male so this is case sensitive so we need to use the same if it is a capital m we need to use the same case sensitive function here right so here if you see query master database select a select b also but in b i am applying a filter b where it is male and then i am closing this function with a double quotes then i put a comma and then i enter one why again i am going to tell the function or the uh, formula that there is a column header now i am going to close this and if i hit enter you will get column a column b but filter only with character which is male so now let's say i'm going to edit this so i'm going to add something to the master database i'm going to add ilamaran and when you when you enter this information you see here ilamaran's information get copied in these two columns but nothing changes over there then i say ilamaran is 7 years old ilamaran lives in chennai all the information get appended now if i come and enter here ilamaran gender is male then this filter get extended now if i say genita genita is 9 years old she lives in chennai and she is a female and now what happens only these two columns get filled the other column where we used a filter does not get filled so friends i hope this video was useful for you to understand the query function of google sheet so this will be a very useful function for you to copy all the data from a master database specific columns from a master database or specific columns with applied filter from a master database in our upcoming video we are also going to show you how you can import data from a completely different google sheet this we have seen from the same google sheet how to import data from a completely different google sheet and we also planning to post a video on how to use query and import functions together in google sheet so for all these videos please subscribe to our channel hope this video was useful thanks for your time see you in another video thank you